In this presentation, we're going to be discussing about what is a go-around. Now, there are many reasons why many pilots do the go-around. It's a very common thing in a normal practice. A couple of reasons are maybe there might be an aircraft or a person or a live animal that has incurred the runway. Other reasons are might be local conditions, such as maybe with get we're on short finals and the aircraft's affected by some degree of gust. As a result, that's given that's unstabilized the aircraft and it will make it applicable, suitable to conduct the approach. And other reasons are maybe we're just flying a little bit too high. Okay, so in this example now, I'm going to just fly the aircraft for the runway for a normal approach. So, the key to a good go-around is making an early decision and sticking to it. Okay, the aircraft suddenly becomes unstabilized, so I've decided to conduct the go-around. So first, I'm going to apply full power, set the nose on the horizon, once at a positive airspeed and positive rate of climb, I'm going to raise flaps and stages. I'm going to position the aircraft on the dead side and keeping inside of my runway to my left at all times. The purpose for this is you want to keep a good visual contact with the ground and making sure that no aircraft are taking off. Once a beam, once past the upwind threshold, you can begin to turn onto the run to turn onto crosswind and rejoin the circuit. That concludes our lesson for the go-around procedure.